Happy Tuesday. We have hit the midpoint of June already. That almost doesn't sound possible. Uh, a little PSA for my uh, locals. If you're out on the country roads today, be wary of the deer. Um, there are mamas and fawns out all over the place. Uh, I saw four fawns this morning just on the short trip out from here to drop off at camp. So keep an eye out. Uh, let's begin the day. Feet shoulder width apart, knees nice and soft, body erect. Head nice and tall, tuck the chin back a little bit to straighten out the back of the neck. And let's begin to turn from side to side, just letting the arms swing free to start. We'll keep it deep in the realm of tradition today, starting with the eight brocades. And then we'll do the five traditional starting postures from Jean Juan. Get our standing work in for the week. A reminder, if you didn't catch it in the email, uh, there is no live session on Friday. I've got to manage <clears throat> different camp pickup times due to overnights and my middle daughter is getting her second COVID shot. So I will be scurrying around the better part of the day. So I'll be practicing very early on Friday. Let's take the hands into loose fists and begin knocking on the lower belly and lower back. Waking up our energy center. Knocking on the door of life. And let's begin to deepen out the breath. Taking that inhale through the nose if you're able. And then out through either the mouth or the nose. Drawing the breath down deep into the belly. And then a full and conscious exhale. Let's take that front hand, slide that one up to the shoulder area. Hitting that acupressure point on the end of the lung meridian. Good point to relieve stress and anxiety and said to be good for immunity. Take it back down to the belly, continuing to knock on the lower back and begin to shift the weight with a little more emphasis from side to side. Slow that down and let the arms float off the body. Just swirling from side to side. And we'll connect to the breath today with a little silk reeling. So as the hands reach one side, turn both palms into the breeze and slow it down. A breath in as you come across in one direction. Natural pause in the breath as the hands change direction and spiral. And a 
a full breath out, coming the other way. Natural pause again at the bottom of the breath. And let's see if we can go slow enough to match the movement to the breath. Not letting the body get ahead of the breath. Let's let the top hand just disappear and let one hand continue. change hands here so that one floats across and goes away the other one comes out and takes its place Let's bring both hands back in, shrinking it down, coming to rest into our neutral Uji position. And we'll just open up the flow. First form in the brocades in pretty much every variation of it called holding up the heavens or two hands hold up the heavens or Buddha holds up the heavens. Let's take one more of our opener here and then turn the palms upward, bring the fingertips together and lift, turn the hands over the shoulders, press high overhead up on the balls of your feet as the hands begin to separate and then release down. Breathing in as we lift, spiral the hands, breathing out as we press overhead, coming up on the balls of our feet if we can. We can inhale as the hands begin to release and then lower the hands and lower the heels. This repeats. One more. And let the hands float back up on the sides. Fold one arm in, draw the bowstring, form an aiming point with the other. 
Take a big inhale and on the exhale, draw the bow. Inhale, bring your bow hand all the way across. Hands change places. Exhale, draw the bow. Take one more time across. Unfold the string hand, both arms float down. Hands float up in front, palms facing each other like we're holding a ball. Let's go ahead and spin that ball. Take an inhale here. On the exhale, both palms turn over and separate. Coming up on the balls of the feet if you want to. Inhale, arms spiral around, sink as you recapture the ball. Exhale as you split the palms away from each other, separating heaven and earth. Spiral the hands again, capture the ball, spin it, flatten the palms and let them float down. This time coming a little bit past the body. Inhale and back forward, backs of hands come together and touch if you can. And then on the exhale, let the hands pass the body as you look out over one shoulder. Inhale, the hands back forward, backs of hands meeting if you can. On the exhale, hands past the body and look out over the other shoulder. The wise owl looks behind. As the arms come back, spread those fingers nice and wide as we add spreading the feathers. Last one. And then just let the palms go flat in the front and float on down. And we'll toe heel out to a wider stance for the next two. Go ahead and drop on down, put your hands on your thighs, really put the weight into your arms. Take a big inhale. And then on the exhale, start the head out to one side, swing it across. 
inhaling it back up to the starting position, exhaling, coming the other way, head drops down and swings across, inhaling back to start, swinging the head and shaking the tail. One more time over and back. And rise back up, bringing your hands to loose fists, tucking in your elbows. Take an inhale here. And with an audible exhale, punch one fist forward. Inhale that one back in, audible exhale. Punch the other fist forward. Fix your eyes on an object in front of you. Punching with the intent gaze. In some translations, punching with the angry gaze. One more with each hand. And then release the hands down. Just toe heel in just one step so we're still wider than hips width. Hands begin on the back, massaging the kidneys. Take an inhale here. And then on the exhale, begin to fold forward as you trace down the outside of your legs. Inhaling back up the inside of your legs and finishing back with hands on the kidneys. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Two hands hold the feet to strengthen the kidneys and waist. In some traditions, this cures the hundred illnesses, although those are not really specified. One more time. And then just release the hands to your side, toe heel back in to about shoulder width. Final form of the eight brocades, rising hands on the sides, coming overhead as we lift up to the ball of the feet, turn the hands over at the top, and then press the palms as you lower the heels. Eighth form is called raising the heels and pressing the palms. One more. Then let the hands float to your back, backs of hands on the kidneys. Bring your feet out just a little bit wider. Sink down like you're sitting on the edge of a stool. 
Back nice and straight, head nice and erect, chin tucked back. And you can close your eyes and we breathe. We'll just go about five to six breaths here in each of the five postures. your next exhale, go ahead and release the hands down to the sides. You can keep your eyes closed if you want to. And then we're going to lift the fingers just a little bit to put some space under the armpits. And we breathe. Body still in that slightly dipped position like we're sitting on the edge of a tall stool. Knees slightly bent, elbows slightly bent, shoulders relaxed. This time we'll change on an inhale. On your next inhale, bring the hands up in front of you like you're hugging a tree and then consciously drop the elbows, relax the shoulders. Fingertips continue to point toward each other and we breathe. Next change, also on an inhale, let the arms float out, turn the palms down, and then bend the elbows up, pull the shoulder blades back, squeezing together, and we pause, looking for the sensation of us pushing against something with our hands while something tries to push us back. And the final change we'll do on an exhale, fold the palms forward and then extend the arms out diagonally from the body, palms facing the floor. 
and we breathe. And we'll release on the next exhale. Letting the arms float slowly down as you toe heel in to where you're in our neutral position again. And we'll go into our close, rise overhead, flatten the palms, press the palms, regulating the chi. One more time. Hands reach, reach bottom this time, press the fingertips together and pull them back up to the ribs and then press forward, turning the wheel two times. As we rise, separate the hands, toss one away, bring it all the way overhead and down the midline of the body. Taking one more on each side. And as the hand floats down this last time, let it come to rest on the heart center. The other one over the lower body. Set the feet just a little closer together. Close your eyes. Finish just breathing. After three or four breaths, you can take that top hand, just let it slide down the body. Joining the other hand, hand over hand over the lower Dantian. Good chance you'll feel yourself start to sway a little bit. Just relax into that. Just let yourself sway like a branch in the breeze. One more big breath in. And as you release the breath, go ahead and release the hands. Give everything a little shake out at the bottom. Thanks for joining me today. That was the eight brocades and the five fundamental postures of Jean Zhuang. Namaste.